What's going on guys, it's JC Flames here and today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook group as an artist. Now usually I highly recommend every independent artist to do this because it's extremely important for your career. So come roll with me, I'm going to show you how. Uh, me, me. Also known as JC, spent my whole life in hell, also known as AC. Ran around up in the hoop, the struggle, no AC. Used to have a money collar with stains and leather seats. I got pants to make it outside. Uh, to all my teachers with the outcome. Uh, the ones that said I never mount tonight. Ain't no one for selling dust, but I'm about one. Like, I'ma make it out, I promise. This. I'ma be something regardless. Uh, I'm sick of always being modest. Of my goals, I swear to you, I will accomplish. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to be somebody. All right, guys. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your Facebook, which <clears throat> this is my Facebook right here. And you're going to want to go to groups. Now, before I actually create this and show you guys how to do it and whatnot, I do want to get into why it is very, very important to have your own Facebook group. It's because, again, as I've previously stated, you guys, it's really really important for you to create that experience create that community um, especially to your fans or the people who love your music so again you guys want to make sure you create that you want to create that experience that exclusivity and a private group I think um, it creates like an exclusive like it's like having a membership and if you're part of it uh, your fans and your supporters are going to really appreciate it and they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, I already heard that song ahead of time or I'm already in the uh, his exclusive group, you know, so-and-so's group and I love him as an artist or, or I love her as an artist. And it's just really, really good for you guys to build momentum off of that and to, again, you want to appreciate your diehard fans um, as opposed to some of the people who are barely listening to your music. So. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on create new group and right here for the sake of this video I'm going to go ahead and call it um, uh, JC's group let's just call it that you can put a fire emoji if I can I don't know if they'll actually allow you to do symbols sometimes they don't it just kind of all depends um, now the privacy again you guys could make it pl public if you want but I would recommend doing it private because, again, at least when you send out the invites and stuff like that, uh, it's exclus exclusivity, excuse me, that people are, want to be a part of it. So you're going to want it to be private so that they have a special, you know, quote unquote, a special membership to it. Um, and of course, uh, high group, I always try to do it visible. Um, invite friends. Um, now, you can always do this later on. If you want, you can actually click on here and start just inviting a bunch of people you know so it's all up to you excuse me for that um, but you're gonna want to go ahead and click on create and the next step right here is gonna be you guys want to do like a little um, always do a banner before you even put this group out there you know before you start sending out invites um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload a photo. Now I do have, I believe some photos somewhere here. So let me go into, I believe it is pics. Let's actually try and look for, I believe I have a banner somewhere here. Banner, banner. I may have already passed it. There we go. Let's go to banners. I believe this one right here should work, or maybe even this one, you know. This is just giving you guys an example. And again, if you guys want a cool, a really cool banner, um, I would highly recommend going to Fiverr. Um, that's that's really good for you guys to to order it from somebody. I mean, this one, I think I, I spent like 30, 35 bucks, not even, maybe 20 bucks off of this banner. I just gave them a, um, a few photos, and they made this really cool for me and what I mean by they is is um, usually there's graphic designers on Fiverr and you just pay them you know a flat fee and they can create a banner for you just send them some of the photos and your logo and boom you know this looks really nice professional so I'd recommend doing that and um, over here on the side these are some of the things that you can do you can admin you can add an admin assistant excuse me so if you have somebody who's like a friend who wants to manage this page for you uh, or this group for you 
excuse me, um, or even like member requests. You can kind of go through all that stuff right here. These are just the requests that you've gotten from certain members, you know, on certain days. Um, automatic member approvals, you can set it up to automatically just approve everyone. Um, people might actually have questions, you could set that up. There's just all sorts of things that you can do. Schedule posts, so you can also schedule for yourself, which again, I recommend um, as well, because sometimes I do that with some of the content I want to post. Um, and there's also options to grow your group, check your group quality. Now, group rules, this is one of the things that you do want to set up. Um, so one of the things that you want to do is go ahead and get started and I usually do all four but it's up to you guys you can even write your own uh, rules but I like a lot of the preset rules that Facebook already has for you so I usually just click each one um, actually you gotta click one and then do create and then you gotta do create again no hate speech or bullying. To me, that's really imperative because you don't want people just bashing each other for different races, religions, you know, sexual orientation, stuff like that. Um, and of course, be kind and courteous. That's pretty straightforward. No promotions or spam. Now, this is really important, you guys. You want to make sure you click this one, create that as a rule because you don't want people going into your group and later on thinking it's okay to start promoting their music or their, their grind or their hustle on there. I mean, unless you're okay with that, but I personally think it's not recommended because, again, it's distracting from your group, your culture, your community. It's about you. You know, it's about you building your fan base. It's about all of that stuff. Now, if you want to, you could even allow this rule and, you know, as long as they push your stuff, but I wouldn't recommend it in your own group. Maybe if you go into other Facebook groups, then you can promote your stuff if they allow it and say, hey, I'll promote yours on, on my regular feed or something like that. But I wouldn't recommend it. So that's usually why I create that as a rule as well. And the last one, of course, you want to do respect everyone's privacy. Uh, this is just, um, again, you're creating this private group, right? This community in this group. And if somebody ever says, hey, I love your music. It got me through this, this, and this. And it's something real personal to them. You don't want to go ahead and go in your feed and all that stuff. Or you don't want anybody to do that, um, to go into their feeds or other groups and start spreading rumors or start saying, hey, well, it got so-and-so out of this mess. And it's just really, really, I think, um, imperative for you to use this as a rule as well because you want it to kind of stay within the group. You know what I mean? Uh, it just kind of protects you as well. So after you create those rules, um, you're pretty much good to go. Again, you guys, I would schedule some posts on there. I recommend that you know it's pretty easy once you start you just create a post and you start doing some um, you know you can even say welcome to my group to JC's group um, drop a comment below on your favorite song you know you can do something like that <clears throat> and then just go ahead and post it and again, after you set all this stuff up, you guys, you can definitely just go into Grow Group and you start adding some of your friends um, or even you set your preferences on what if you wanted to go to a specific location or a specific gender, age range, etc. Um, and these are just kind of preferences on how you can be suggested on your group to other groups, if that makes sense, or even other friends. Um, and again, they, they will... Uh, uh, Facebook will suggest this group um, again to like recommend to other people for you, for them to join, you know, and it just they kind of do their own algorithm when it comes to that. Um, so again, you can do that, and then um, after this, you can uh, go into your home, and again, right here, you can click invite, and this is where you can invite a lot of your friends that are already your friends on your your personal page. You know, um, you can go through a lot of your friends right here and just start clicking, clicking away and then send the invites to them and they will know again. Um, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, um, some of the setups, again, to complete it, finish completing it, they want you to invite members. But like I said, I don't want to invite too many people right now because I already have my own group. It's called Familia and that's like my own exclusive group for my fans, my fans only. 
So um, this was just kind of an example to show you guys how to do so. And again, the last thing you do want to do is create a description. You, know, you can say this group is for my fans who love my music and who have been supporting me since day one. You know, something like that. And you could say, you know, stay tuned for more exclusives and merch, something like that. And you could save it. And again, once you're, you're done inviting a lot of these people on your friends list, it'll say that, you know, your profile for your group is done. It's being set up. And I mean, you're good to go. You guys start scheduling some posts as well. Build that community, you guys. Build it up. And um, again, people want to be a part of something bigger. And show them that through your music, through your culture, through, um, you know, certain, if you want to do certain hashtags or you want to start certain conversations or even polls. I like doing that. I've actually done it in my Facebook group, you know, and even start talking about regular music, you know, just recently. Oh, it's been about a month or so, but, you know. Uh, Drake dropped his new album as well as Kanye West, you know, you could do a poll and be like, who's this better, you know, and just kind of, that's my, my uh, genre, which is hip hop. And it's kind of R&B as well. Um, but it's kind of just to start a conversation to build that community again, you guys. Um, so I would go ahead and do that. And again, you guys, please, please make sure you subscribe if you're watching this and you're a newcomer, like the video as well. And let me know in the comments below what else you want to see. I got uh, recently a request to do a video on how to verify your Facebook um, page as an artist. Um, so I will be doing that soon, you guys. But again, subscribe, please. It helps me. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or you want to see any other videos. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to be somebody. And I promise one day that I will be. I'm going to be somebody.